Right. November 2008. In the famous Madison Square Garden, a battle took place between the legendary Roy Jones Jr. and the holder of the Ring Light Heavyweight Champion belt, Joe Kalzaki. Joe was a Claire Bookmaker's favorite with a 5 to 1 coefficient. Despite the last three victories, 39 year old Roy Jones couldn't go beyond his style. Now every boxer knew how to fight Jones. It was only necessary to follow the game plan. Joe Kalzaki's style, with his endless attacks, was to be Roy Jones's nightmare. Jones asked for this fight, lobbied for it, ultimately made it. Okay, gentlemen, we know the rules of dressing room. Obey my command at all times and protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, the bell rings, come out fighting. And at this stage right now, Kalzaki is fighting the fight that he wants to fight, and Jones is fighting the fight that he wants to fight. Down so far, a counter right hand. But he also gives up. Kalzaki lands inside. Kalzaki knows that Jones is quicker in the center of the ring, and down goes Kalzaki. Down. He got hit with a punch that Jones just shot in anticipation of the way his head was going to be. Perfect punch. Although it looked like he hit him with his hurt Kalzaki in but, flurries but, inside. But he may not make it out of this one like he did with the Hopkins. Right. I think he oh, he's hurt. much more hurt. He's, he's seriously hurt. The other one's more of a flash knockdown. Much more badly hurt than against Hopkins. And fighting rather than trying to get away. Kalzaki, but Jones is going to have a 10-8 round with which to begin the fight. But this is not something that Jones likes to do, so he may end up, if he doesn't, Stop Kazaki getting in trouble himself. Kazaki has never lost a fight, and I think he's probably been down about four times in fights, which shows that he does have the ability to come back. And at this stage right now, still, the fight is like, to me, a toss-up fight. It could go either way. Down in the first round against Chris Eubank. Won the fight. Can he do it over the long stretch of the fight if Kazaki can make it go round? And here's what will hurt yep. Jones most if it keeps up. When he leans against the ropes and puts his hands up and lets Joe throw side. It's abundantly clear it's a different fight in the center of the ring than when they go to the ropes. And Kalzaki seems to have his legs under him now and a greater ability to withstand what Jones throws. Jones lands another right hand shot that brings people out of their seats. Fight in which he hopes to dominate the second half of the fight. Good body shot by Kalzaki. Left hand upstairs. Kalzaki unfazed. Goes at him with his hands held low. You know, if, if Roy's punches are much more flashy and much more powerful. But, you know, unless he, he throws really... one punch at a time, and Kalzaki throws six. And that's what I'm saying, and I, I don't know if he's ever fought anybody like this. Kalzaki is not just, he's a big man. You know, it's, a, it's very, very difficult to just take punches from a start tall guy like that. Kalzaki showboating in the center of the ring. You ever thought you'd see that with an opponent against Roy Jones? Kalzaki taking Jones's punches much better now. And landing when he fires back with the right hand there. I mean, Kazagi is standing in front of Roy Jones with his hands down, showboating, and carrying the round. Watch his shoulder. I don't think either fighter... ...that he has weathered the storm, that he understands what's up with Jones now, that he's not faced by what happened in round one, and that he can swap Jones with punch count from here. He has dominated round three. Here, here we can see both guys doing pretty much what I expected. Kazaki throwing a lot of punches, showboating, dropping his hands. And, and I think it's, it's, it's really not that they're showboating. This is just part of each one of these fighter styles. And that was exactly the kind of round Kazaki. Oh, God, Joe Kazaki put on a performance. I, I, I mean, the guy is so good. Just incredible third round. Anyway, two to one, Roy Jones. Well, with punches in. To me, outside of the first round, he's won, even though 
you may not have given it to him. I thought he's won all of the other rounds because he's just outworking Roy. I think it's possible that some judges could have given him the second. Get hurt early and always come back. But I, I just think that his speed and his ring generalship is bothering Roy. Roy's never, never experienced this. And I think that the fact that Joe can do this all night. Building the tempo. And now he's attacking Jones with impunity in the corner. And throwing three and four punch combinations, which Jones tries to fend off one shot. Okay. Okay. Here you see Calzaga get hit with punches by Roy, but I don't think they landed it. And maybe show Roy that he doesn't respect his power. Good straight left hand by Calzaghe. Three right hands to the body. Combination upstairs. Jones fires back with one. This was the basic equation coming into the fight. A fighter who is comfortable throwing 75 punches around against a fighter who customarily throws 35. At this point. Why would Roy allow someone to stand in front of him with his hands down when he can punch is beyond me? Well, that's his way of trying to make Calzaghe get tired. Calzaghe lands a big left yep. hand. Yep. Now the round belongs to the Welshman. Yep. Jones lands a left hook. Here you see Joe Calzaghe throwing a lot of punches and missing a lot, but eventually he starts coming through with that straight left hand. And, you know, and if he can... Remember, Calzaghe is the master of making mid-fight adjustments to turn the tactical equation in his favor. Takes a big uppercut there. Here you see Roy Jones then a beautiful time uppercut right through the defense of Kazakh and Joe least expected it. But beyond that punch, which was punching the sharp, clean punches, and uh, solid left Joe hand by Kazakh, he follows it up with a couple of body shots. Another flurry by Kazakh. Drives Jones back against the ropes. Roy may be momentarily hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Straight left. Blood straight above the left eye of Roy Jones. Again, the hand speed flurries by Kalzaki. Jones gets him off with one punch. Kalzaki dropping his hands and staring at Jones and watching the blood flow and going back to work. And, and, and all this said, Roy is fighting valiantly here. He's, He's fight. fighting hard. But I've never saw him knocked out until he got knocked out by Tava Calzaki and by Jones. voting again. This is the straight one two that I was saying early in the round when I saw the Calzaghe was hand and he landed it straight in the eye and I think that's what caused all of the damage to the eye. Perfect left hand and you're going to see more probably. Copy box numbers in seven. Jones landed more than half his punches. In, in, in the Tarver fights in this third fight there was a kind of a concession on Roy's part. I don't see him conceding here. He's still trying to win. Absolutely. Even though Calzaghe didn't throw a lot of punches this round, he was placing his punches in show button. He looked like he was targeting to the left eye and placing his punches very selectively. Fighting every way. And when he's able to push Jones into corners, he's totally in control. And now the combinations and the hand speed and Jones look. So the Jones corner believes they're doing all the right things. Bottom line is they have not been effective in stopping the bleeding. And Jones is badly compromised in the ring. This started along about the second round when the swelling started. But at this stage of his career, it's a rough guy to fight. But this, this guy, I think, would have been a problem always. For him. Bring it up. Bring a it problem up. for anyone. Break. Just could be farewell. Turi O'Connor and Julie Letterman score the belt 118 109 to the winner by unanimous decision the fighting pride of Newbridge Wales still light heavyweight champion of the world Joe now Roy you had him hurt, down and hurt in the first round. What were you thinking at that moment? Well, my, first of all, I want to say thank you to all my fans for coming out to support me. I thank y'all all. Y'all been wonderful fans for my whole career. I uh, thank y'all for all coming out to support me. Um, Pencil Cole in the house, as always. What happened was when I knocked him down, I had two plans. I couldn't make up my mind which one to do. I wanted to go at him. Then I didn't want to go at him, but I started punching too big after I hurt him with the big shot trying to get him again. And I got out of my fight game. We've never seen you cut like this ever. Uh, 
Was this an issue of, and, and, and we'll show you a replay here. Yeah. Tell us what you see. He caught me with a good shot, but that ain't when I cut. I think he caught with the right hook that cut my eye. When he caught with the right hook right behind my glove, it cut my eye. I was like, whoa. It was the first time I ever been cut. I was like, oh my goodness. But uh, I'm game. You know, I love fighting. I don't care. I'm going to fight to the end always. And uh, I, I still gave it my best effort, but the guy was a better man tonight. I got out of my game plan and he won. So congratulations, congratulations to him. Thanks for watching this video until the end. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Until next time.